Hi everybody, it's Mrs. Brown and today what I wanted to do is to go on over our discussion with chapter one entitled The Prison Door and really look at how Nathaniel Hawthorne goes and starts to set up our symbols. So we have a ton of different things on here and so we have the throng, we have sad colored, we have gray steepled crowned hats, heavily timbered, studded with iron spikes, all kinds of stuff in there and it's just very dismal sounding. And so the first thing when um, the Puritans came in this story, the first thing that they created in their version of a utopia was a cemetery and a prison. I don't know, like if I went and created my own version of a utopia, I don't think a prison would actually ever appear. And maybe a cemetery would end up being like around, you know, like, I don't know, between 30 and 40, because, you know, it is a, a part of life. But uh, you know, it's not really right up there on my, my like top 10 of like, oh yeah, this is going to be like my super awesome place where everything is glorious when it, when I have that, that prison. So then we have where the, the prison is very dismal and very dark. Um, and that's what really Nathaniel Hawthorne's using to go and, um, really portray what the Puritan, are going to symbolize within this book. And then we have the rosebush. So even though it has suffered a little bit and it's surviving, it's still flowing and it's still like blossoming. And that's going to be symbolic of our protagonist, our hero, our heroine of this story, Hester Prynne. And so I want you to go and be thinking about how Hester will go and really embody this rose bush in here, okay? So that is gonna be for chapter one, and then we're gonna be looking at chapter two when the drama starts.